Open your Epic Games Launcher. Make sure your Unreal Engine version is greater than or equal to UE 5.2. Only versions 5.2 or above are supported for this operation. Then you need to install the MetaHuman plugin provided by Unreal. This plugin can be found in Fab. And it's free. We will use the UE 5.2 version to create a blank project. We navigate to the Unreal plugin page. Enable the MetaHuman plugin. And then restart our project. At this point, our MetaHuman plugin has been enabled. Go to the website human-ok.com. Select a facial image you need to generate. Start the generation. We'll keep the default MetaHuman topology. Click Download to proceed. Extract the downloaded file. We can see the generated head model and texture files. Import the head model into the newly created Unreal project. Create an empty folder named Test. Move all our models into the Test folder. Right-click in an empty space in the Content folder. Find MetaHuman Animator. Find MetaHuman Identity. Create it and open it. You will need to enter your Epic Games account. After logging in, select Asset from the menu. Choose Configure Components from Conformed. Select the imported head underscore LOD zero underscore mesh. Wait about 20 seconds for the engine to complete the calculation. Choose Mesh to MetaHuman, Skeletal Mesh only. Start the automatic binding process for MetaHuman. You will be prompted to select a body. Let's choose a body then. Wait about 10 seconds for the server to complete the calculation. Once the calculation is done, we can see a MetaHuman model with bindings has appeared. Let's make a simple material adjustment. We can see this model has many bones. We can change the material to unlit mode to make it easier for us to observe. At this point, we have completed importing the human OK generated model into Unreal Engine and transformed it into a bound metahuman. Next, I will demonstrate how to download the bound model to your local computer. Return to the MetaHuman Identity page. Choose Mesh to MetaHuman, Skeletal Mesh plus Full MetaHuman. Wait about 20 seconds for the server to complete the calculation. Go to metahuman.unrealengine.com. Here you will find the model just generated. And you can make fine adjustments to this model. It usually takes about one minute to reach the operation page on this website. As for how to use this MetaHuman, there are already many tutorials available. I won't cover the tutorial here. Friends who are unsure can search for related tutorials on their own. Let's open the bridge software and log in with your Unreal Engine account. Here you can download the bound files. Find Download Settings. Under Models, select MetaHuman. U Asset plus Source Asset. Select the model just generated. Start the download. This usually takes a few minutes. We go to the Export Settings. Make sure you have the corresponding export plugin installed. You can see common support here for Maya, Blender, 3DS Max. I will use Maya for the demonstration. We export to Maya. Wait for it to load. Create a simple material. Using the textures we downloaded.
This model now has bindings and controllers. Thank you all for watching.